An anti-aircraft missile regiment is on alert. Raiding forces are preparing to attack. This is the scenario of the tactical exercises that took place in the Solnchnegorsk district. This unit's task is to protect the airspace of our country and that of our capital, Moscow. The launchers are hidden from enemy view in case of a possible attack. Special scouts look for areas suitable for camouflage in real time. The convey is then rapidly deployed to the location. This unit can travel 500 kilometers without logistics support. Any local community traffic must be cleared for the unimpeded movement of the convoy. It cannot stop even for a second. Private vehicles on the roads can impede the convoy's movement. A unit must be able to perform its task in any environment, regardless of the casualties or destruction. A battalion command post coordinates air battles. A simulator is used for the exercise, but the missiles are always fully combat ready. At any given time, the battalion can switch to combat mode in five minutes and can destroy enemy aircraft within two minutes. An S-300 missile can reach altitudes of between 25 meters and 27 kilometers of this launcher. Military personnel said that S-300 can destroy almost any type of air attack vehicle. The 4th Air Defense Brigade was placed on red alert after a plane violated Moscow's airspace. Five minutes later, the S-400 Triumph surface-to-air missiles were ready for launch. The Russian army currently has two operational regiments wielding the latest generation S-400 Triumph surface-to-air missile systems. Both regiments are deployed in the Moscow region. These missile systems were deployed here, not far from Dmitrov in 2011. The US Army MIM-104 Patriot missile was similar to Russia's S-300 surface-to-air missile system. No other country has any other missile similar to the S-400 system. Triumph missiles have so far been tested only during military exercises. The missile system's radar can detect targets up to 400 kilometers away. The missiles can hit any air target with a speed of up to 5 kilometers per second. The military say it is particularly difficult to defend the airspace above the Russian capital. High-intensity combat duty programs are required. This is due to the extremely heavy air traffic in the Moscow sector. The command's radio-technical units track more than 800 flying objects daily. The 4th Air Defense Brigade tracks every fixed-wing aircraft crossing through the Moscow region. However, no one has violated Moscow's airspace since 1987, when amateur German pilot Matthias Russ landed on Red Square in a small private plane. Based in Sofrino near Moscow, this top-secret Don 2N radar station is an important component of Russia's anti-missile defense system. No foreigners had previously been given access to this facility. Those taking part in the excursion were people attending the conference on missile defense in Moscow. After handing in their mobile phones, the visitors were taken to the command post. This is the nerve center of the facility. From here, you can observe objects measuring no more than 5 centimeters in diameter and up to a distance of 2,000 kilometers away. Being located in European Russia, this facility can detect and track ballistic missiles from every direction. Nevertheless, some pieces of equipment were still kept hidden from the visitors. The demonstration included a training exercise involving a duty team taking only a matter of minutes to detect an enemy missile. We have seen how the station really operates and what its capabilities are. We saw the scope of its reach, and this only intensified my impression of what Russia's potential is. We want to demonstrate in practice the aerospace defense components that Russia has today, and show that Russia is ready to cooperate. Russia's military says the Don 2N could be deployed to deal with medium and long-range missiles, jointly with the US and NATO, if agreement on the European anti-missile defense system can be reached. The S-400 anti-tank missile system can destroy any existing means of air attack at distances of up to 250 kilometers, and the system can be ready to fire within a few minutes. One of the goals during these tactical drills is to know how to transport and set up Triumph's firing system at the Ashluk range. An S-400 missile strike repels a conventional enemy missile attack 
with no special allowances. Well, almost. Of course, for safety reasons, we are assigned a number of targets. We're in training, not in combat today. These firing exercises are being held at night. The S-400 system can be operated at any time and in any weather. Sometimes it only takes seconds from target capture to destruction. Calculation errors are unacceptable. While responding to an attack, the regiment destroyed moving targets flying along a ballistic trajectory. These are pretty complex targets. The 1.24 strike hits solid targets in 10 to 20 seconds. Throughout the drill, the system will hit dozens of different target missiles. The S-400 Triumph system will have a new optional missile with extended range by the end of 2012. An S-400 missile can hit targets beyond land-based radar range at a distance of up to 400 kilometers using a new homing system. A division consisting of six new Panzer S air defense systems repelled an air raid at a proving ground near Astrakhan. The training battle took place in total darkness. The crews had to rely solely on their instruments to orient themselves. The tactical exercises were held as part of the transfer of anti-aircraft missile and cannon systems from development contractors to air defense forces. Over the course of 24 hours, the Panzer systems underwent their final testing and trials. The Panzer S complex is not just armed with separate missile or cannon munitions, it has both of them combined. That is, for defense purposes and to eliminate targets located within a 4 km range, cannons can be used. For more distant targets, we can use missiles. Before the nighttime firing, the division conducted maneuvers on the proving ground without munitions and held a virtual battle with an enemy training aircraft. Eight aircraft simultaneously attacked the position of the anti-aircraft gunners. The crews were able to detect the enemy, lock onto their target, and perform a simulated missile launch in the allotted time, before the aircraft would have been able to launch a counter-strike. Throughout the exercise, our targets were hit at a rate of 0 0.9, that is practically a single missile for each target. According to the military, the Panzer S is one of the best in its class in terms of performance and combat capabilities. Each of the machines is able to defend an area with a radius of 20 kilometers and a height of 15 kilometers. The complex is mobile and is able to fire on the move. For this reason, according to specialists, the Panzer S is indispensable on winding mountain roads. It is always able to protect the column. The Russian Airborne Force has received the first six accordion portable radar systems, which can detect air targets at high altitude. These miniature radar stations serve as additional electronic eyes for the Airborne Force's air defense systems, including the Stella 10 Man Portable Air Defense System, or MAN pads, capable of detecting enemy targets at a higher rate. The radar system's target detection range increases 2.5 times when it's used with the Stella Air Defense System. The radar sees everything up to 40 kilometers away. The accordion or Garmin radar unit requires a crew of four. The soldiers hide inside a dugout and monitor the skies using special equipment. After detecting a target, they relay its coordinates to the Strelitz launcher, part of the Igla S-Man portable air defense system. It detects four types of targets, including tactical aviation, helicopters and hovering helicopters, remote-controlled unmanned combat air vehicles, UCAVs and cruise missiles. This miniature radar station has one more advantage. While operating with the Strelitz launcher of the Igla S-Man portable air defense system, the Garmin unit can detect enemy targets. Thus, the Strelitz launcher remains invisible to the enemy before firing its missiles. After the mission is accomplished, the accordion can be folded up in five minutes and redeployed elsewhere. Airborne units in Novorossiysk, Ivanova and Tula have already received the new radar units.